I'm going to teach a lot of this video on single strung harp because it will be easier for you to see the strings and understand what I'm talking about. Just like it's very important to go directly to the correct string with your finger and to do finger placement, sort of pre-planned which fingers are going to land where, it is just as important to figure out where to place your eyes, your vision. And the secret is, it is never on the strings you just touched. As soon as you touch a string, your eyes should bounce off of it and go to the next place you are going to put your hands. You never look at the strings once you've placed your fingers on those strings. You never look at your hand play. So I'll show you what I'm talking about and why it's effective. If you place your hands and watch yourself play them, then you don't know where to go next. And now you're thinking of where to go next, and you hunt, and then you find it. So what you want to do instead is to, as soon as you touch these strings, your eyeball bounces, your vision bounces to the next place you're going. So it's like, boom, like, like croquet or something. As soon as you hit that string, it's like, hitting the ball with the mallet and the ball goes boom. Except the ball, the ball is your eyeball. So what you do for this is you actually practice very slowly touching there and immediately looking there. If you want to, you can hold your hand there as a guiding point so that your eye gets the right distance to go. And so I go boom, I see the C down here. Boom. And you start to feel your eyes going to exactly the right spot. So your eye movements actually form a pattern and it will become automatic just like your fingering is automatic and that's what you want. You don't want to have to think while you're playing the harp. You want to get a piece that is just automatic to play and then you can focus on the expression. For this exercise and to get your eyeball placing in your neurology, we're going to do just three strings, the three C's. So what you're going to do is as soon as you touch this red C, at the very second that you touch it, your eye goes to this C. So you're going to practice that in just a minute. And then as you pluck this, your eye is glued to that string. And so you know where to go. And the second that you touch it, your eye goes to this string. Then you play it, and you go to this string, and then you can play it. So in this one, we're going to cycle back down again. So in this one, go ahead and practice the second that you touch this string, your eye gets goes right here, and it stays glued here. So that now your hand knows exactly where to go. The second it touches, your eye goes here. Now the second you touch this string, your eye goes here. Now you know where to go. The second you touch it, your eye goes here. The second you touch this, your eye goes here. The second you touch that, your eye goes there again. So then it becomes very smooth to do. No hesitation. Now do something two-handed, like C-fifths hand over hand. And make sure you feel your eyeballs moving and go really slowly at first. Place, and then my eyeball goes there. You could call it eyeball placing. So place, my eye goes there, and it's glued to there, and then I touch this, I play here. The second I touch this, I'm looking up here. So I'm placing, now I'm looking here, placing, and looking here. Playing, then my hand knows where to go. As soon as I place, I look up to the next C, and then this hand knows where to go. 
Now I look down to the lowest C. I hit the lowest C. While I'm playing this, I'm already looking here. You're always looking ahead. I'm back here on the double strung harp again, and the tune that you're going to learn very soon, next couple of tutorials, is Water Fairies, which you heard on tutorial 12. But anyway, I, I found that I was struggling with the passage, this part that goes... Um, and the thing is, I had not uh, sort of figured out my eyeball placing and practiced it. And I did it for probably, it took me about five minutes, like fingering out your placing and all that. And I did it, practiced it, and it became automatic. And so now, as soon as I put my hands here, I'm not looking there anymore. My eyes have accurately gone to the next place I'm playing. Remember, you never look at your hands once they touch the strings. You always look ahead. And you look accurately ahead. If you integrate these techniques into your playing, you'll be amazed at how much more enjoyable your playing is. Now the next video, yes, we are going on to Water Fairies. I'm going to teach you a shortcut about how to learn it called Little Tail, Big Tail. <laughs>